Welcome back. This video is going to be a video on how to uh, configure external or affiliate products. So once you're in your dashboard, you can click on the products tab and I'm going to go ahead and add a new product. And I'm just going to name this um, external product just uh, for this demonstration. All of these settings like the description and the categories and the tags, images, and the short description down here. If you want to learn how to configure all this, go ahead and check out my simple how to configure a simple product video and I have all that information in there. But for this video I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the product data section and I'm going to choose instead of a simple product I'm going to click on the box and I'm going to choose external slash affiliate product. Once I do that all of the settings come up right here in this general tab. So the product URL this is where you are going to put in the URL from Amazon, eBay, wherever you're going to send the person to purchase the product. So what this does is I'm going to go to Amazon. I'm just going to look at this laptop. I'm going to copy the URL up here. And then I'm going to paste it in the product URL. And then I'm going to change the button text here. Right now it's default to buy product, which you can change it to whatever you want. You can say buy on Amazon. And then right here, for the regular price and the sale price, as we can see here, the list price was $819.99. So I'm going to put $819.99. And the sale price is actually $669.99. So I'm going to enter that there. The tax status and the, the tax class uh, doesn't really matter in, in this situation. But once you set all of that up, we can publish it. We can view the product. Now, once we go to the product, um, it's going to, you can name it whatever the product is going to be. So we can take this a step further and copy the title of the listing on Amazon. And we can go ahead and paste it into the product title. We can scroll down and copy all of the description and paste it into the short description. And then we can also go in here and we can download this image. And we can upload it into our featured image. I'm just going to drop it in here into the media library set the product image and so now once we update this and go to our our page again now it's going to look exactly like how it is on Amazon but it's on your website here's the picture here's the title of the product here's the price here's about the the, the description and then there's the buy on Amazon button and once you click on this it's just going to redirect them to Amazon. And why this is, uh, why, why you would want to use this is if you have an Amazon affiliate program, uh, you can send them to your Amazon affiliate links to products, and then you'll get a commission off of this, but you have to set that up in Amazon. Um, or if you just wanted to suggest different products to your customers, let's say you have a, a blog site, and you just want to suggest good products to them that you use you can do you can use this as well um, so there's a lot of possibilities with external products whether you're making a commission off the purchase or not or just generally suggesting products to your viewers uh, it's a very good tool to use so if you have any questions go ahead and let us know and thank you for watching